Montauk, a cute little seaside village at the end of Long Island in New York. Lovely Montauk is home to 3,326 people. Oh, and a monster, or so the legend has it. But what if the legend was true? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that loves all manner of queries from real history and alternate timelines to science and physics through to pop culture and fiction. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I love a good urban legend, and today I'm asking what if the Montauk monster was real? Before we get into this video, I want to know if there are any urban legends from your hometown, city or state, and if you think they have their basis in anything real. I'm from Cambridge in the United Kingdom, which dates back to the Middle Ages, so there are plenty, mostly involving the university and creepy ghostly monks. Do let me know your thoughts and tales in the comments section down below, and of course, please do like this video if you're into our content, and share it with a friend who needs a wee beastie in their life today. Stick around to the end of the video where I'll be replying to comments from a previous one. Okay, if you're sitting comfortably, then I will begin. The Montauk monster seemingly washed ashore near the business district of Montauk in July 2008. Here's a picture of the unexplained creature that set the internet alight with theories and supernatural speculation. Headlines were rolling in like, dead monster washes ashore in Montauk, which, you know, I guess it kinda did. In this respect, the Montauk monster is real. Like the majority of urban legends, there is truth at the centre of it. We can't really tell what it is from the horrifying picture taken of it, but according to eyewitnesses, the unidentified creature was the size of a dog. We know it has four legs and a tail as well as something that looks oddly beaky, but what is it? Well, that's still up for debate. The term Montauk Monster was coined by cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman, and the name took like a lit match to gasoline. Soon the good people of Reddit and beyond were discussing WTF it was, with no conclusive decision made either way by scientists or crypto theorists, which makes answering this question pretty hard, but we're gonna roll with it. One leading theory is that it is a hellhound, a dog straight from the bowels of hell. So how did it wash up in Montauk? Good question. But if it did, then hip hip hooray, that means the devil is real, and that whole can of worms of implications that comes along with that. Devil. No. Even if that is true, again, I ask, how did the hellish Montauk monster wash up in Long Island? Is there a hellmouth under there? A portal between our world and Hades? If there is, then what are the monsters? What else was spat out? How did the creature end up dead? Is Satan sad? Is it a sign? Perhaps the Montauk monster is an ocean creature, a species yet undetected in our deep, dark, mysterious, cavernous waters. As they say, 90% of the ocean has been unexplored, so perhaps it is. But again, doubt is cast by the fact that the monster is clearly a mammal and it has a beak, which doesn't look too fishy to me. Why well, your gills that, mate? Maybe the Montauk monster is an alien. It looks kind of cooked and bruised, and maybe that's because its spacecraft or vessel fell to Earth in a ball of flames. Long Island is a hotspot for alien spotting, so perhaps this is true. If it was true, would it mean that the Montauk project theory that has been the focal point of paranoid speculation is actually legit? The Montauk project theory was perpetuated by UFO researcher Jacques Zvale, who amongst others believes that alien experimentation is taking place at Camp Hero, or the Montauk Air Force Station. Perhaps this experiment went wrong and the subject died, leading to the alien corpse being dumped in the ocean, only for it to wash ashore. Uh oh. Well if that were true, I wonder what other SCP style creatures they're hiding there, and whether or not their dumped carcasses can explain a few of our other ocean mysteries. Maybe it isn't aliens, maybe it's just regular mad scientist stuff. A few locals speculated that the creature could have come from the nearby Plum Island Animal Disease Centre. One variant of the urban legend suggested that the creature feature was a diseased animal, others say it was an experiment gone wrong. Either way, if that's the case, then PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, better get down on the scene and sort out this inhumane treatment. Speaking of inhumane, some people think that the so-called monster is actually discarded aftermath of illegal dogfighting, which would be awful if it were true, but we know that it does happen. Although William Wise of Stony Brook University examined the image taken of the beast and he deemed that it couldn't possibly be of a dog or a canine as the eye ridge and feet just don't match up to what he would expect to see. He also ruled out other theories like raccoon, sea turtle, rodent and sheep. So 
What is it? Is it a hoax? Maybe the monster wasn't so real after all. Scientists were never able to examine the body as its carcass was never found. Hearsay says that a local man was thought to have buried the body in a garden or so it goes, but I'm thinking if the Montauk monster was real, some high powered secret agents dressed in plain clothes took the evidence away for examination a la Roswell. Maybe the creature is being examined in the bowels of Area 51 or the SCP Foundation as we speak, or the nearby local secretive buildings. A few thoughts for you as we head towards the end of this video, some food for thought. Four years after the Montauk monster incident, this washed up on the shore underneath Brooklyn Bridge. Eyewitness Denise Ginley told the Huffington Post, We found the dead creature lying on the strip of sand beside the East River on the Manhattan side. It looked like the tide probably washed the carcass up along with some driftwood. Is that not looking pretty Montauk monsterish to you? Is there more than one? Is it a whole breed of monster that we just don't know about? It seems a Parks Department spokesman claimed that there was nothing mysterious here, but I'm wondering if anyone else is smelling a government cover up. Perhaps the Montauk monster was real and all other media monsters monsters are real too. The Loch Ness Monster, the Chubacabra, the Mothman a la Mothman Prophecies. Maybe there are creatures out there that are too terrible for the public to know about. Or maybe there's another explanation, and if there is, I'd absolutely love to hear it. If it is real though, I wonder what is so terrible about it that it needs to be such a closely guarded secret. Honestly, I dread to think. Well guys, that's the end of the video for you there. What did you think? Are you feeling like the Montauk monster is real? Will you be making a trip to Long Island anytime soon. I'd actually be pretty down for going. They may have monsters, but they also have Long Island iced tea, so I'll be there. Before we exuant pursued by monster, I want to read some comments from one of my most recent videos. I'm going to be reading from What If SCP-1451 Was Real, aka the circle of metal statues. This is what you had to say. Miller said, I know these things aren't real, but your videos always make me question it. Right? Gus Carradine said, why don't we just put all of the Keter class SCPs in the middle of the circle? Gus, I like your thinking. Something gross to round this video off. One of our commenters said, the freakish thing I saw was when my dad went to Thailand and saw a severed thumb washed up on the beach. Oh my goodness, I never want to see severed things. Blech, blech, blech. Good, ending this video with guttural sounds. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you soon, but until then, leave a thumbs up on this video, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning. <laughs>